Well, good morning. It's Monday morning tea time with Mick. Hope your week's off to a good start. I don't know of any better way than go into God's word. What do you say? I'm reminded today of Romans chapter 8. These verses I know you probably know, but sometimes practicing may find a little bit difficult. Where Paul says in Romans 8 that we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus who loved us more than conquerors. And the second verse in Romans 8 is that if God is for us, who can be against us? Now these two verses, they are a great declaration, aren't they? A wonderful statement to pray in a worship service. But the question is, how do we live that out Monday through Saturday to be more than a conqueror, to know that God is for us and therefore nothing can be against us? Well, I think the simple answer to that is one word, and that is surrender. That's right. We must surrender to him in order to experience this incredible promise that God will do what he said he would do in our lives, regardless of the situations in which we find ourselves in. He is a God that will enable us not just to survive, but we, he is a God who will enable us to thrive and to be a conqueror. That is an incredible promise to you and I. We just have one incredible decision we have to make, and that is to surrender. Now, surrender has two forms. There's a, what I would call an ultimate surrender, where you finally, at the end of your rope, give God control of every area of your life. Not 50, 60, or 80%, but 100% of your life. When that begins, then you can see the power and the Spirit of God come into your life. But the second part of surrender is something that most people really need to practice. And that is this. There needs to be a daily surrender. Not just a big time, one moment crisis surrender, but a daily surrender. A surrender like Jesus did in the garden when he declared, not my will, but your will be done. This kind of surrender happens throughout the day for me. There are moments where I say I surrender. There are moments when I mess up, say the things I shouldn't say, have an attitude that isn't really Christ-like. And it's in those moments, not only do I confess, but I surrender. When I'm facing incredible odds and situations and stress, it's in that moment that I surrender. And do you know what my experience has shown me? It's what Romans 8 says, that I am a, I'm more than a conqueror because of Christ. And if he is for me, who can be against me? That truth is not just for me. That truth is for everyone. For God is not a God of favoritism. And he's a God that is, is the same today as he was yesterday, as he will be forever. That truth is for you. So what are you going through? What is your situation? Simply surrender. Wave the white flag. Unconditional surrender. Have your way, Lord. It's in that moment you will see and begin to see God's amazing movement in your life. That you will be a conqueror. And you will be able to know that if God is for you, who can be against you? So stand your ground today. Be brave. For he is able and willing and waiting for you. Because he loves you, he always has and he always will. He goes before you and behind you, and absolutely nothing can take you out of his hands. And to this truth I say, all right and amen.